Hey friends, I have a lot to say in this video, so let's get started. Okay, <clears throat> first of all, the only way to recover, in my belief, is eat and rest and unquestionably unquestionable amounts and for however long it feels like you need to and, and it'll be obvious when it's not. So no matter what I say here, there's no man amount of writing or wearing or painting the recovery away. You have to eat in order to recover and that's my belief and these are just things to help you. It's kind of like um, when you have a bacterial infection, you can take antibiotics to treat it, and that's the only way that you can treat it. But you can also take painkillers, and that's what I believe that these are. These are things to get your mind off of it and to work on the mental, but really, you're not going to get anywhere if you take just the painkillers and no antibiotics. You have to take the antibiotics in order to recover from strep, and you have to take, you have to eat in order to recover from anorexia, but you can do things to help you. <coughs> And the first thing that helped me was journaling. And I'm not talking about today I went to the grocery store and I, I'm not talking about that. There's a specific kind of journaling that I really engaged in in the beginning of my cover cover and I have all of them. <laughs> I am not one, <clears throat> I, I feel very strange and it's very foreign to me to write, oh, I love myself, you know, it just doesn't feel right. And I feel weird and like, ugh, I feel, ah, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to me. But I did it anyway, and it helped me. And I don't want to show you this, because I, I really don't, but like, I would choose things about myself, and I would write why I liked them. So, I love my eyes, they remind me of my mom. Um, I love my tummy, it protects my organs and allows for great hugs. I love my thighs, they are strong and allow me to thrive athletically. And then I really focused on the tummy because it was such a feature that made me very self-conscious. So I would harp in on that and I would write all of the things about my stomach that I liked. And it was hard because I didn't like my stomach, but if I, you wanted that, you want those pathways in your brain to continue going so you can figure out you can connect the two. You can have those positive feelings connected with something you don't feel exactly positive about. And because you degrade yourself so often, it's nice to have those reminders. And if you introduce those in your, to your brain, instead of thinking, oh, I hate my stomach, you can think, I hate my, okay, wait, no, I love my stomach because of these reasons. And definitely put down the reasons. I didn't like just saying, I love my eyebrows. I would have to have a reason, and that was one thing. Another thing that was very helpful, that was very hard and emotional to write, and I remember this, I just read this before I like made this video, and it's like, oh my gosh. Um, I wrote an apology letter to my body, and you are so much separated when you're in your eating disorder from your body and you, and like in recovery, you're like dealing with the two, like finally you're giving your body a voice, but it, and then it's like an animosity that you have for your body. Like, why are you making me eat so much? Why are you, why can't you be normal? And it's like, and so it's, uh, you need to make repair that relationship. And you need to realize that your body is not doing anything wrong. You were the one who were doing, who was doing things wrong to it. And so I really liked writing an apology letter to it. And I'm going to read you mine because I think it'll help, I don't know, to get my message through. So I said, and this is like June of 2017, Dear Body, I know I have not treated you well. I am sorry. I am sorry to have forced you to do things so unnatural to you. I am sorry for exploiting your brain to hold on to strict routines and count calories. I am sorry for losing your ability to have children. I am sorry for exposing delicate bones. I am sorry for eating so much acid and ruining your gums. I am sorry for starving you and torturing you at the gym. I am sorry for hating your natural build. I am sorry for using perfectionism against you. I am sorry for causing you panic attacks from pushing back emotion. I am sorry for causing extreme hunger from not feeding you. I am sorry for hating when you tell me I am hungry. Please forgive me and tell me when I am hungry and full. Please tell me what I can do for you. So it's like, ah, it's just repairing it. It's like 
making it so it's not you versus your body and your eating disorder, it's you and your body versus the eating disorder. And I really liked that shift in focus and like realizing that your body is this gift and that it's uh, really, it's sole job is keeping you alive and healthy and that's what it's doing through recovery and all of the unfortunate side effects of it is because you listen to your eating disorder and we're not doing that anymore. We're listening to our body. Another thing that I really liked was music and I wish I could show you the song but I can just tell you them because I'm using my phone to record. Obviously as you can tell from the pristine quality that I give to you. Uh, <laughs> so I can play them but here they are. This one was huge. I found this and I jammed out and cry to it all the time. It's called Missing You from All Time Low. Another one that doesn't really connect, but it helps, and I don't know. I was Sober Up by AJR. And recently, um, AJR released another one called Karma that I kind of connect with my eating disorder. And I, I don't know. I like it. Uh, maybe you will too. <clears throat> Next one is Follow the Sun by Caroline Pennell. And this was actually on a movie about eating disorders, and I don't recommend the movie, but I just thought it was a good song for it. And then the last one, one of my best friends showed me this song. It's called Alaska by Maggie Rogers, and it's about a boy who, and she's like changing her life and letting go of her old past. And you know what? A breakups addictions of all sorts really connect with eating disorders so whenever you find a message kind of like that it's it's honestly kind of like a transferable exchange I would say so yeah I really and that's a really good song and she's a great singer so and I love the person who gave it to me so I don't know okay um another big thing that has been helpful through my recovery has been clothes and finding my own style and I don't know if this would be helpful for you but it was definitely helpful for me when I started getting the weight and there was no freaking way I would flip back in my clothes it was kind of cool to choose objects of clothing that were different it was I don't know for me it was like I'm finding confidence in my unique sense of style because I definitely have a unique sense of style. Homegirl always wears dresses. Homegirl always wears just wacky things, colorful, obviously things. And I, I don't know. It's I feel like you when you're going through an eating disorder and when you're recovering from it, especially well, only recovering from it, you have to listen to the world and what it's saying to you and just like have it go this way. Like, especially with all diet culture being so ubiquitous and calories and versus calories out. Oh, you, and, and exercise is, oh, it's good for you. You just, like, you just pulverize your body every day and you give it nothing and then you are not only a unique, beautiful human specimen, you are, like, spiritually superior to everybody and it doesn't matter about the emotional and physical toll that it takes on you but you just suck it up because you want to be a superior human being and then and then yeah it's just you have that side and then you have us and we're just ignoring everything and eating chocolate and it's a much better side but <clears throat> I don't know there's something freeing about you were doing that and having to work through that every single day through eating and it's kind of cool to just you know, do that through clothes too. So I remember the first unique piece of clothing I got, I actually showed you guys a long time ago. It was this dress flapy, like keepy thingy. And then I <laughs> liked when I moved how it flowed and I liked it. And that was like my first unique piece of clothing. And I started getting more unique pieces of clothing. And also I started like experimenting more with pieces of clothing that necessarily weren't necessarily made for me and like I wanted to be flattering for me but I also wanted to break rules so like bodycon dresses were huge and I got a lot of those um and then I, I recently got into the realm of crop tops so um most of these things that I've gotten like this
this was seven dollars from TJ Maxx and these were just clearance like the majority of the other stuff though are not new they're they're vintage or um, thrifted so <clears throat> I'm not I'm not spending a fortune on these things so you don't have to either and you know I just like colors and I have not been afraid of colors and so that's been a big thing for me clothes um, another thing I am in college and I actually needed to write a thesis in order to get an honors criterion and I wrote it on anorexia and the importance of awakened first strategy when recovering and it was so good it was so good for it was so good to like cement all of my thoughts and to have all of the scientific backings in my head so that was good and, and you know being validated by professors but also I actually entered it into competitions this year and I, I won I won three thousand dollars from it so it was just really validating and extraordinary and, and whenever somebody has doubts or somebody approaches me about their potential eating disorder program, I'm just like, here's my life work, here you go. <laughs> and, and they're like, it, it helps me, it's, it's a tool, it's definitely a tool, so um, there's that too. So this video is getting very long and I'm going to make clips of me and my favorite clothing, so I'll just... Um, skedaddle on out of here but I hope you guys are doing well I hope this has helped and I'll put all the music that I listed in the video in the description below and I'll talk to you later okay bye